My name is Megan Freed. I am an in-house uh, litigation counsel at a specialty reinsurer in Hartford, Connecticut, the Hartford Steam Boiler Inspection and Insurance Company. In the next couple of years, I'm going to be completing a LLM program in insurance law. And I thought before I did that, while I still had some free time, I wanted to really invest in some of the less uh, technical skills and, and make sure that, you know, that my my notion that I'm good at, me, at mediations and negotiations was actually accurate and uh, have a time for some self-reflection. All the feedback that I heard from, about Harvard's program was the highest. I was extremely drawn to the fact that it was a two-day program. Um, I have a, a heavy travel load for my, uh, for my job and so being in Boston for two days was incredibly appealing. I also like that the program was focused on lawyers because although I've taken uh, negotiation classes with business people before, it didn't really respond to the litigation context that I'm used to operating in. And even though this is a program for, uh, for lawyers and other business professionals, and certainly lawyers that are more on the deal side as well as litigators, it's been clear that the set of skills are wildly applicable and there's been time to discuss the lawyer's role as a, as a litigator as well as a deal maker. I went to Mount Holyoke College for my undergrad and we always used to say that we were lucky that we weren't at a big university and we were at a, we were at a seven sister school because the professors are teachers there, not researchers. Friends who are alumni from Mount Holyoke uh, ribbed me a little bit about my decision to go to a Harvard program rather than one of the smaller ones because obviously it would just be a, a, a pedigree rather than a teacher. And uh, that has pro proven to be incredibly wrong, a, a fear that was uh, completely unfounded because Bob is fabulous and engaging and wonderful and, and he is uh, far more than a, than a very impressive pedigree, which he has as well.